Hi guys, it's Lynn here and I've got today I've got my um, wonderful friend, best friend and also ex-partner Sean <laughs> who is helping me and Hansi out today with the bubble wrapping in the polytunnel and a lot of you will be familiar with Sean already from our other channel we used to have called Dreaming of Avalon and Sean has an amazing channel here on YouTube called Rambles with my camera. I have to give you some money for that. <laughs> <laughs> he has an incredible photography channel so please do go over and subscribe guys links up above to Sean's amazing photography channel and he has some amazing videos on there brilliant photographer <laughs> and uh, me and Sean go back a long long way we were we were a couple for many many years and now we're best friends and he's also best friends with Hans as well so <laughs> I know a lot of people find that strange but we are all really really good friends guys and uh, that is fantastic as they Hans has hurt his back so um he's we were doing this is all the bubble wrapping we have been doing and this has been left over here from the summer and we're going to be re-bubble wrapping the back wall but because it's a bit of a big job and Hans has hurt his back <laughs> um Sean has very kindly offered to um give up some time and help us with the back wall here so just gonna a little bit explain about what's going to be happening now, as you see, this is all bubble wrapped already from the summer. There's a bit of gap, so we're going to be probably taping this together, save having to bubble wrap it again. And we're going to be taking these plants, moving these away, probably putting some onto this table here, and moving the punctures out of the way, moving the table back. There's all a load of bubble wrap there. We're going to be feeding the bubble wrap under, over the top, and through here. It's not particularly a hard job, but um, it's fiddly enough. So um, in today's blog, vlog, I should say, that's what we're going to be it's doing. Be a hard job. I'm going to rub the sun to roll in plants. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know. And uh, it's going to be fun and games anyway, guys. So as I say, we're going to start now and show you the stages as we go on. Now, <laughs> that's the um, other panel put on there. and. Sean is doing a very good job of tucking it all underneath the metal rail, metal uh, rails here. Um, just left this little bit here to do. And he's done an amazing job up there of tucking it all in nice and neat so there's no gaps. Fantastic. Oh dear. Well, I think a bit of pain there with a few spines in, in uh, horrible places. Painful. War injuries. <laughs> oh golly. And um, as you can see, this has already been bubble wrap. What we're going to be doing, this is bubble wrap that we had from last year that we left in for the summer. I know we should have took it out. We never got round to it, but um, we, this just needs to be put some tape, probably some duct tape over that just to seal it off. So keep the heat in there. And that's um, pretty much, as I say, the door's done over there, sorted. And um, more or less nearly finished now. Um, nearly done. Just a few more things. Then we'll show you what it's like when it's all done. That's the last bit just going on now at <laughs> the back wall and uh, then it's all um, done. Double, double bubble wrapped as well so that's great and uh, then we're going to just be putting a bit of tape as I say to seal everything off but that's great. Um, the plants are going to be as warm as toast and what we did we have obviously we have the floor lined with um, terrapaulin and under this floor we have like a be like a foam type of thing like that you put under carpets like a like a, a foam base that helps keep the heat as well and helps the cold from not rising up which is great and um, obviously the next uh, few days I'm going to be rearranging all of these because there's lots of gaps where we've took plants off that have gone upstairs um, to overwinter indoors there's a lot more space about it's going to be tidying everything up I'm going to be cleaning all these trays because lots of soil everywhere so getting them all off giving everything a clean, going through all the plants, checking there's no signs of bugs and things like that. And uh, obviously have a lot of tidying up to do. As you can see there, there's sort of plants everywhere, bubble wrap everywhere, all here, um, loads of space. <laughs> so I'm going to be rearranging a lot of things, going through a lot of the succulents. A lot of them would probably need a bit of pruning or may leave that probably to the spring because it's a bit of a difficult time of year now when it's, it's the autumn time. But um, definitely going to be doing a lot of tidying up. So there are going to be lots more vlogs coming up of me tidying up in the polytunnel over the next few days so stay tuned guys and as I say nearly done there now guys what we've done so far and by the way Hansi is behind the camera filming me and Sean doing the bubble wrapping so big thumbs up for Hansi also and do go over and subscribe to um what do we fancy Hansi's channel family of cactus and other beauties and uh, so because Hansi's I got uh, heart, heart, heart hurt 
back. Oh no, yeah, <laughs> so do you that's know what I was saying? To? Why Sean had to do to with the guys, it. we had to ask Sean to come and help because Hansi hurt his back. Yeah. So, um, as there's a lot of stretching, putting all the bubble wrap in, as you can see. Um, but we put the first layer of bubble wrap on the back wall and um, we used this pole to feed it through. So, it saved us having to move all of the bigger punches here, which was saved so much time and trouble. And now, Sean is just tucking in all the bubble wrap into the corners to make it sure it's all, all coated in there, all covered, so it's not going to fall out and no draft. So that's a, a big part done there, which is fantastic. As I say, it's a fiddly job. So I'm so glad that the Sean is torn, he's got long arms because otherwise we'd have had to have moved all these plants. So it's been it's been brilliant. Yeah, well, but the you? arms yeah. the arms are very sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are all used to cacti and suckers. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it's like torture, isn't it? But you oh. have tested for 10 years, so... Nah, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got thorns on my head. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying to the, the viewers, that guys who are not familiar, that me and Sean were, were a couple for, what, 11 years? 10, 11 years? And now we, we're best friends, which is fantastic. And you mean people... we weren't best friends when we were together? <laughs> <laughs> no. But people find it strange, like, when they know that um, Hans and Sean and me, and Sean's wonderful, wonderful girl as well, Sheena, we're all best friends. People find it odd, but it's wonderful to be like that. And we all get on so well, don't we? We help each other out in, uh, in crime. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hi. Yeah, brilliant job there, short. Now, guys, um, Hans has made this really clever um, invention here for the polytunnel door because the door is always the weakest link. And it used to, um, obviously, as you can see, there's gaps behind here. And when you used to walk in in the winter, it used to blow open and let all the heat out. And even though we used to put all the bubble wrap down, it was awkward getting in and out with all the bubble wrap. So instead of putting bubble wrap, Hans has come up with this great idea here. He's done it like, almost like a little blind, how rolling up and down. Two sheets of terrapaulin, green terrapaulin, a sheet of um, like, um, it's almost like, sort of like a, I'm trying to think what it would be called, like a, um, oh, what's that material called inside? Um, like a fleecy type of material yeah. inside that's waterproof, and he's sewed it in so it doesn't fall down. Done two little um, ties up here that you roll, like a roller blind ties, and here which it goes up and down, so when we're in and out the polytunnel, this closes, it also works from the outside, and when we're out, this, this acts as a complete um, draft, keeps all the wind out, so it's a really good invention, I'll just show you what it looks like when it's down. <laughs> It's great. So that keeps the heat in. And it's also wonderful when you're inside too. Winds up like that. Easy to come in and out of the polytunnel, especially in the winter. And um, a great invention and that just ties around there when you're in it. So um, great idea, Hansi. That's brilliant. That saved a lot of hassle. <laughs> this polytunnel is going to be as warm as toast for the plants. Yes. Thank you, darling. <laughs> There you go guys, that's all of the back wall completely bubble wrapped. So the whole of the polytunnel now is bubble wrapped. And um, Sean has done an amazing job. <laughs> Thank you Sean, what, what have you got to say all there? All I have put is a couple of sheets of paper up. It was an easy job, no problem. <laughs> I have to say that obviously I know Lynn now for 13 years, I would say 12, 13 years. And I admire so much for what she does with her channel. <laughs> but for the care and her passion with the, the plants and the succulents, um, it's amazing and I'm proud <laughs> of what she's done with the channel. I remember when she oh. had one subscriber and uh, that love and the passion that she puts into the channel, what you see in, through the, the video obviously is who Lynn is in real life and I think I think she deserves all the credit uh, that she gets. Um, she's 100% genuine and although I don't get the plants the way Lynn gets and Hans gets the plants, I, <laughs> I think they're, they're class of these flowers. But, I just admire so much for what she's done as a craft. Oh, really. thank you, Sean. That's very, very kind. I have to say, it was Sean who um, encouraged me to get my YouTube channel up and running in the very, very first place back in 2012. <laughs> so thank you, Sean. If it wasn't for Sean, I would not have a YouTube channel you at all. You would have had it, but maybe done it differently. <laughs> you would have been a successful on your own. You no. <laughs> well done, Lenny. So crowd. that's great. And... Um, we put some tape on the back there just to stop the bubble up from falling. Now, obviously, we've got some gaps here. I'm just going to show you. Yep, 
where we're going to tape up where the, the bubble wrap joins but we don't want to use the silver duct tape because it's going to look unsightly it looks like it's going to look like there's loads of holes in the roof so we're going to be getting some clear duct tape and then taping this together so it's all going to be completely um sealed off and all bubble wrapped ready for the winter and as i say guys a lot of uh rearranging to do in here um, as you can see everything's a bit of a mess and i'm going to be doing this on um, the next few days so stay tuned for future vlogs coming up of me rearranging and tidying up in the polytunnel and um thanks so much for watching guys and all of your support and if you want to know more about growing cacti and succulents please do check out my website desert plants of avalon dot com <laughs> links down below and also please don't forget to subscribe to sean um, for all of his help and everything guys rambles with my camera links up above and he's got a fantastic photography channel on there so guys until the next video bye <laughs>